Hostess, it's your girl Jazzy J. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, again, I go by Jazzy J. My channel is fashion based, beauty based, and some lifestyle vlogs. So today I'm going to be bringing you guys with me. It's going to be a weekend vlog. Today is Friday, I believe the 15th. Um, I'm actually getting ready to head out the door. I got to go run some errands, get some maintenance done, a pedicure mostly. Not needed, but it's been like three weeks, and I love to get a good pedicure. It's to me, it's like the ultimate maintenance is having your toes looking nice. I'm not really big on the nails; I keep mine nice and short and natural. But my toes, everything for me. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm about to go run some errands today. I just got to go to the doctor really quick. So here's what it's. I'm bringing you guys with me and. Hopefully it'll be a lit weekend. I didn't vlog throughout this week because I worked all week. Nothing was going on at all, pretty much. So with that said, let's go. Cause I actually I'm running behind per usual. <laughs> travel to Jacksonville which is like two hours and go to Jack's Beach and spend the day in Jacksonville me and the kiddos but it's been raining every single day usually it's raining um, around five o'clock every day but I don't know I don't know if we're gonna be able to go today hopefully cross our fingers we can go tomorrow but anyway your girl gotta go get some gas this thing is teetering close to the E. But I'm heading to the doctor today. If anyone is new here, I've been working on um, my skin, seeing the doctor trying to help clear up my skin. Um, apparently, I'm having um, hormonal acne. The doctor said it's normal when you get into your late 30s. So she put me on a prescription. And it's been about two weeks. I personally don't see a change because I'm still having some flare-ups. So they want to do some more laps today. Like I feel like doing that. Driving 45 minutes to go do some laps. But um, they want to see if the medication is working. If not, if they need to up the dosage or not. So that's number one on my agenda today. And then some errands. I got to send a package back from Shein. I want to go get my toes done like I told you guys. Oh, and I need to grocery shop. Because my kids, if you're a mother, they're out on summer vacation. And they're eating me out of a house and home. Literally. Alright, so I'm about to jump out and get some gas really quick. And they're playing copyrighted music at the gas station. So... Stuck in the past watching videos of us. I have yeah, so we just gassed up. Man, y'all saw how much it took me to fill my car up. Let me tell you, it used to take $45. And I know everybody is going through this inflation right now, but that's ridiculous. $60. And I drive an hour to work five days a week. So it usually costs me um, close to $300 a week to go to work. Mm, it's starting to be not worth it. Even though I've been with that company for 12 years, it's starting to be not worth it. And honestly, I brought it up to like my boss. Like, I know it's not y'all fault that I live this far, that I, you know, packed up and moved an hour away from where I worked. Um, it's not your fault. It's not your fault that there's an inflation right now. But do your girl a solid. I've been holding this company down for 12 years. You know, managing a, your staff. Working at multiple locations, holding it down. Uh, come in when it's my off day. Stay late when I should be leaving. I mean, hold your girl down. Like, fill my tank up once a week. 
or once a month, something, help your girl out. And they're just looking like, oh, we definitely get it. <laughs> but nothing yet. So I'm honestly thinking about changing up my job just because of the situation. I really would hate to do that after all the time I put in. But, y'all, it really does suck getting older, you know, dealing with this skin situation and everything on your body. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tripping, but everything on your body feels different. Breaking down. <laughs> That's how I feel like. I don't know. Everything just freaking hurts. But, um... A very popular YouTuber made a comment about she's in her late 30s too and she made a comment about hormonal acne that she got you know a breakout every blue moon but her comment was I don't know it was just it just rubbed me the wrong way because she was just like oh there is technically nothing you can buy you know to help your skin even if I get one breakout here and there it's gone it's over with my skin is back to perfection and it's either you have it or you don't there's nothing you can buy you can take change up to make you have beautiful skin like really you know how many women struggle with you know their skin and for you to be like oh either you have it or you don't you know if that's the case maybe it is what it is but damn, to say that shit like that, like, you know, a lot of women are struggling with their skin, not just older women, young women, teenagers. It is what it is. A lot of women are struggling with their skin. And for you to just slap us in the face like, oh, you just don't have it. It's, it's not for you. It's just a select few of us was blessed with good skin and you're not one of them. Really, I'm not going to say her name on here because. You know, I'm not about that type of energy, but I just thought it was real, like, I don't know. I can't really put it into words, but I just thought it was a little wrong. Like, damn, sis. Support your queens out here that's struggling with their skin. You know, I'm glad you have beautiful skin. You know what I'm saying? Kudos to you. Everybody is not blessed like that. Some of us have to work at having beautiful skin. So, I was like, really? Now, I almost want to unsubscribe to your channel because of that type of comment, you know? But everybody has the right to say what they want to say, but, I'm like, damn, instead of you be supportive, you know, you're saying that you're perfect. And the rest of us are out here just, mm -mm, what? You didn't break that part down. But, it's ridiculous. But it is what it is, queen. For everybody else that we're struggling out here trying to get our skin together you know I hope you get all the products you need the help you need to get your skin the way you feel comfortable make you feel beautiful I hope you get to that level all right y'all so I got a 45 minute drive I check back in with you guys when I make it to my destination and I need to find me some breakfast sooner or later I'll talk to y'all soon. I've been trying to get rid of your stuff, but voices in my head are telling me to stop. It's all I have left, all I have of you. Thought I was more than a body to hold, baby. I wanted you. All right, so I'm done with the doctor. That literally took less than 10 minutes, but I had to pay $85. Like, going to the doctor is expensive trying to take care of yourself and do the right thing and make sure you're healthy is expensive eating properly is expensive and making sure your body you know is taken care of is expensive I'm like 85 dollars <laughs> goodness and i have really great insurance but i had to pay my copay then plus um a copay for the lab too but whatever but I had to do the blood work in some urine. So much fun. I hate needles. I hate it. So I wanted to see. I'm probably not going to be able to catch any breakfast because it's 1043. Man, the car is closed. Let me see if I can catch Chick-fil-A breakfast. Dang. 
this tight spot. If not, it's what it is, but I really would like some breakfast. Later. Wanted us to be something more. I was so sure. Let my guard down for you. Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that. I gave you my heart. So I just left the nail shop. Um, you guys, my pedicure was everything. Pedicures to me, oh god, they're like having a spa moment. I will literally splurge on a pedicure. I usually always get the deluxe and if I'm going through anything stressed worried tired and y'all I know y'all probably like bitch what is that on your wrist but um I had carpet tunnel still had carpet tunnel and it flares up from time to time you know what that's from overusing that hand and my issue is the cell phone Holding it in between my hands right here and using my thumb to do all the work. So now my carpal tunnel is flared up. Just keep adding to the list of things. Just try when you get old, I'm telling you. Everything just start breaking down. <laughs> but yeah, my pedicure was amazing. My toes look so good. My girl in there, she's been doing my toes for like a year. When I come in, she's like, right, I got her. She picks, I never pick out my own color and stuff unless I come in there with something in mind. But she was like, I already know what we're doing this time. So yeah, I really, really, really enjoy it. So now I'm about to go to Walmart. That's why I had to put um, my hand brace on because grabbing all those groceries and bags and it's pretty sore right now. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some groceries and some house, some house goods. You tore it apart, don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non-stop Just trying to forget you and everything we said But I can't seem to get these thoughts out of my head, baby Why, um, the Walmart be tripping? Our Walmart, the air, <laughs> it's like a But yeah, why your girl was shutting Walmart down in there? Ah, uh, this little outfit I got on. Everybody was stopping me every hour. Oh, that's cute, that's cute. Where you got that from? Guys, and they're like, damn, damn. I just was loading up my luggage, my, oh my God. Loading up my um, trunk with my stuff. And <laughs> the guy stopped. He was just like, yo. I don't mean to, you know, make you feel no type of way. He said, but you got damn. He said, you wearing that damn outfit. He was just like, I ain't trying to holler nothing because I had an old lady, but can you show me where you got it from so I can get it for her? So I'm outside pouring in sweat, y'all, going on the Shein app to show him the outfit. I'm like, yo, this outfit ain't made. I mean, it's cute, but... It's my runaround Aaron's outfit, but it was in there turning heads, <laughs> women and men. But I done worked up a whole appetite, and I swear I just ate lunch maybe two hours ago. But I've been running, ripping and running. It's hot, so I'm about to go get me a seafood bowl, y'all. Go get me some garlic shrimp, some potatoes, some sausages and what else corn on my cob i think comes in there yes i am and i ain't had a soda in a minute because i'm trying to like back off you know because of my skin <laughs> but walmart was giving me hell so literally hell it was so hot i'm still sweating right now so i don't know about y'all but when i'm hot i tend to not want to grab water bottles I mean, I will sometimes, but feel like a soda is what I need. All right, so so y'all can get a sneak peek. Yeah, yes, sir. It smells so good. Oh my goodness, I'm about to tear that up. What's up, y'all? So I'm still literally putting groceries up and stuff, and I get a phone call. Remember in the beginning of the vlog, I said that I pay about three hundred dollars a week for gas. And I've been telling my job, like, hey, y'all need to help a sister out. You know, you need to do something to make me stay. You know, make it work for a while. And how about I just got off the phone with them? 
They just gave your girl a raise to try to help me with the cost of gas and my travel. God is so good. I literally just said it like this morning. And now my job is blessing because they want me to stay. God is so good. I just had to chime back in and I had to finish putting these groceries up. But look at God. God is amazing. Later. What's up, y'all? I'm up here chilling and watching Alone on Netflix. It is so good. I technically supposed to be getting dressed to go to dinner. It's my big cuz birthday weekend. Sorry that went dark. It's the TV. But we've been partying pretty much celebrating for her since Wednesday. And she wanted to get out and go have dinner tonight. So. Oh, but I'm already relaxing a bit, so, but I'm going to get up. That's my dog. We're supposed to go out tomorrow night. And then Sunday, I have my part two live Q&A. We're supposed to go out after that. It is going to be a long weekend for your girl. And I'm super tired because tell me why. It's my day off and I still get up at 7 a.m. I can't sleep in for nothing. Uh, well, let me get dressed because she is on the way. All right, y'all. So Jackie finally made it. We at this little spot. Um, if you ever watch my vlogging channel, we come. We came here before on the vlogging channel. It's called Frozen, where you get your little daiquiris. So it's a pretty nice crowd out here, which I'm so surprised. That's the birthday girl over there. Say hey to the vlog. <laughs> she over there getting her lips together. But yeah, hopefully we can get some food because I was waiting to eat for her to get here. Oh God, yeah, I'm hungry as hell. I was like, I fixed everybody else some food and not myself because I was like, I'm going to go eat. Okay, so hopefully we get to eat. At least. Okay. Yeah, they gonna be like, she keep changing. Okay, change. I'm telling you, we both do change our hair and stuff all the time. But let me see what's popping in here. Y'all, it's a lot of copyright music, so. Oh, I was talking to the vlog. Let me show y'all my food. It's a lot of copyright music in the background. Let me show you what I got. Shrimp quesadillas. Chips and salsa. And then, what you got? Okay. I have the fries. Jackie got, um, oh yeah, she got fries. Okay. We got so much darn food at this table. <laughs> Y'all, these egg rolls are everything. They spicy as hell, but they good. I think it's the sauce. Yeah, I think it's, it's the, the sauce. sauce. Yeah. The sauce. yeah. All right, so we about to eat this food, y'all. And just hang out on the porch. See, we right here on the city. Out in the streets on the porch. It was a cool night though. It was just starting to get real wild out there. Mm, a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we about to damn call it. But yeah, it was a cool night. The food was alright. Tomorrow night we do it again. Yes, we do. This is going to be a long weekend celebrating this thing, y'all. Yes. Y'all see over there? Yes. <laughs> All right, you coming in or you good? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. All right, y'all. Well, I'm about to. All right, y'all. Well, I'm about to say bye to my cousin. I'll see <laughs> vloggy vlog tomorrow in the morning when we head to the beach. Oh yes. Yeah, Jackie Rowland. Yes, I am. Okay, so y'all see how you again. wearing your what they suit? I am. Okay. You wearing okay. my key? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, vlog. I'll see you guys in the morning. The next day. Good morning. What's up, y'all? Me and the kiddos, they're in the car. We're getting ready to go to the beach. I have to go swing by, pick up my oldest daughter, meet up with my cousin. You know, you gotta go hit the store, fill up your cooler. But yeah, we're like running an hour behind. We're supposed to leave at noon. It's almost one o'clock right now. That's okay. Your girl slept 
so good. I usually can't sleep past seven. I didn't wake up till like 10, so kudos to me because that never happens. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun-filled day today. I'm bringing y'all with me. Like I said, we're going to the beach and we celebrate and going out tonight for my cousin again today. So today's gonna be fun-filled. This is a weekend vlog, but it's gonna be filled with a lot of stuff. And then tomorrow I'll be filming my live Q&A with my um, other cousins. So it should be a pretty lit vlog. So I'll check back in with you guys later. We got about an hour drive. Um, we're about an hour and a half. We're going to an island called St. Simons. Um, it's right on the outside of a city called Brunswick. So usually our beach here is Tybee, but I don't know. <laughs> Tybee is a long drive too. It, it's like driving to Key West. So either way it go, it's going to be a long ride for us to get to the beach. But it is what it is. We're used to that. Driving an hour is normal here. So, I'll check back in with you guys once we make it to meeting up with everybody. Why'd you have to love me, love me like that, love me like that? Oh, staying inside in my bed all day long. Listening to sad songs and feeling so low. Thinking about you and where we went wrong. So I wanna know why you let me go. Thought I was more than a body. So sure, let my guard down for you. Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that. I gave you my heart and you tore it apart. Don't know why you had to hurt me, hurt me like that. Cause now I'm messed up, drinking non stop. Just trying to forget you and everything we said. But I can't seem to get these thoughts out of my head. Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that. So we made it to the beach. We're just doing some walking around because they have this little half thing. You can walk across it, but it feels disgusting. So me and the kids, they right here. We about to walk around to the other side. I stole a piece of her bathing suit. That, that goes with my bathing suit, obviously. <laughs> yeah, but we gonna walk around and then I'm gonna show you guys what our beach is giving out here. Oh, we do not have this prettiest. Oh, we saw them. I was so sure. Let my guard down for you. Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that. I gave you my heart and you tore it apart. Don't know why you had to hurt me. Hurt me like that. Now I'm messed up. Drinking non stop. Just trying to forget you. Everything we said. All right, guys, well, we just got our food. I got a early riser with an egg. Never tried that before. You got mushrooms? Take five mushrooms, but I take the onions off and add bacon. Mm. And then the kids got tenders and corn dogs. If you don't like mushrooms, you'll be Hey, dolls. What's up? So, I'm getting ready to go out to finish celebrating for my cousin's birthday. Y'all, look at the skin. It is going bananas. But I'm gonna turn the camera around, get somebody to um, pan, do a pan, so y'all can see my outfit for the night. It's cute. I'm just mad at this face. So hold on a second. I'm gonna um, turn the camera around so y'all can see my outfit. But I can seem to get these thoughts out of my head. Baby, why'd you have to love me? Love me like that. Love me like that. Oh. Next day. Good 
good morning so it is the next day um, I believe it is about noon it is 93 degrees feeling like hell outside so it was a time last night y'all we had a great time my cousin thoroughly enjoyed herself y'all peep the glasses right your girl had to put her glasses on this morning eyes glossy red it, it was a time but i'm currently getting ready to go to the gym per usual work fun gym i feel like at the end of a great weekend even though I did go to the gym throughout the week, but I always feel like Sundays is a great day to end the weekend, you know, at the gym, like getting it back together. But I have a pretty busy day today, even though it's supposed to be chill, relaxed, but I got my live event this afternoon. Uh, I was invited to come out, hang out at the clubhouse. I might, I'm not sure. I got laundry up to my throat. I want to cook a good Sunday dinner. So, I'm going to time crunch because like I said, it's already 12 now. And I'm going to go ahead and put in at least an hour in a gym. But let me recap y'all on last night. Y'all know I got to give y'all the, the good stuff. So, it was so it was um, grown and sexy night. So, you know, it's a lot of older people coming out so there was this older cat y'all this man when i say lit up the dance floor he was out getting on on the floor i mean when i mean get down on the floor i mean hands and feet on the floor i didn't capture that part but i did get a glimpse of when he first started dancing hold on let me insert that clip right here so y'all can see what i'm talking about Push it up, push it up, let me see your chest. Wobble, wobble, shake, 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 energetic you know just it, it was funny but honestly i love to see it i love to see it so it was a pretty good night um I'm trying to think anything else funny happened not really but they, there was this one white guy he knew all the line dances and was out there killing it all night i did get a little clip of him but on snapchat but I don't have it to show you guys, sorry. But yeah, other than that, it was just a fun night dancing. You know, what you do. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to chime back in with you guys on my way to the gym. So it doesn't look to be too packed, which is nice. Every time I come around you, baby girl, something doesn't feel the same You said that I'm changing, but it's really you, I see how you play those games Wifey type for a main man, a queen can make moves, a king can't Snatch you up, now you take it, gave you bricks, now you built it A wall up, wall up, lately you and I have been all up, all up I don't know what's up with our love, our love, you forgetting all about us, about us, oh my Jolie, oh my Jolie Where are you when I need you the most? You still am my age. This is murder, heart is melting Girl, you got me Called your bluffing, made you something Now you talking Telling me to cool it off, cool it off How can I cool it off, cool it off? That's a good workout So I showed you guys a little bit of what I do you know because some people are asking me to show more of what I do when I go to the gym waste some water everywhere so I um, hope you guys enjoyed that it's really hard to film in there because you're really not supposed to 
okay. I was able to capture a little bit of what I do in the gym. So your girl about to go, it's 1.25, I'm about to go home, shower, try to kill some of this laundry, start dinner, so your girl can get ready for her live Q&A. Alright, so I'll check in with you guys once I head out to the live event. Three hours later. So we just literally finished a girl talk live video. It was so good. We had so many good questions. We even had um, a guy who thought we were like man bashing and he kind of came for us. But we, I mean, we appreciate all the questions. It was funny though. Um, you gotta watch the live to know what I'm talking about. So make sure you watch the part two or and part one if you haven't seen it yet. But it was so, we had such a good time. This time we were together, we had our video no issues so i am hot 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 it was hot outside we did it outside again so we are now about to go run to the clubhouse uh for my cousin's biker club and then the girl is heading home so i'm probably pretty much going to end this vlog here unless something interesting happens at the clubhouse i'm literally only going to be there for maybe 30 minutes if that i'm ready to go home <laughs> finish up this laundry so, as you can see, your girl on the passenger side had too many um, girly drinks. So, Alasia is driving. But if you are new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe, that thumbs up, and like this video. Alright guys, so I will see you guys on my next upload. But, if something interesting happens, I'll pick the camera back up and just make it some bonus clips. If not, I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Do I